weeknights at 7, only on KTLA, LA's very own. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mark Messer. Hope you're having a pleasant Saturday. Welcome to the Kately 5 Morning News at 10 o'clock. So after four years, the March for Our Lives is back on, and we are live with that rally coming up. And good morning to you. I'm Lynette Romero. The hot dogs are back in action in Huntington Beach, and these guys can really do some amazing tricks. We're going to be there live. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dana Devon. Why JLo says her Super Bowl halftime show with Shakira was the worst idea ever, I'll explain in the Entertainment Report. Stay tuned. And we are going to see above average temperatures again today before the cool down arrives. We'll talk about all of that and look at your seven days coming up. Saturday to you. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. to Kaylee Morning News at 10 o'clock. Oh. We're in Chicago. We take you around the world. Chicago. 9 and 10 o'clock. We decided to check out the Chicago skyline. It's not Finland. It's going to be no, Chicago. It's Chicago from the Field Museum is the unofficial start to summertime chai for Chicago. Chai. Summertime chai. Chai town. Chai kicks off this weekend with the Hyde Park Summerfest. Summertime in Chicago is iconic because during the months of June, July, and August, everyone finally gets to enjoy the weather, hitting the beaches, rooftop bars, festivals, and a whole lot more. Lynette Romero, <gasps> have you ever been to Chicago, Illinois? I have. Okay. I went there for a hockey game. You did not see the King. Blackhawks and, and the Kings and for the, the Kings. playoffs? Yes. Was it several years ago? It was, a, it was actually, I even... It was, was Western Conference playoffs. It That's was before it was. Olivia, believe it or not. Before she was born? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So Luke, Luke Robitaille was on the team. Oh boy. Rob Blake was playing ago. defense. I My know. Goodness. You were in high school, whatever. I was in high school. <laughs> I don't even know if I was in high school yet. We'll find out. Oh, Chicago is a beautiful city, though. But it's cold there. It is cold. I stayed at the... Uh, my, my mother used to do some work for a uh, pharmaceutical company called Eli Lilly. Uh -huh. So they put us up in the Drake Hotel. Have you been to the Drake Hotel? I don't remember. David would have to tell me what hotel we stayed at. I can't remember. Oh. But I do know you're right. It's so cold. And I was like, I'm from Colorado. I can handle it. I can handle it. We literally walked out of the hotel and I took a breath in and everything froze. Like my, nos my nostrils <laughs> froze, like the hair, yes. like everything. And then like my lungs, I could feel my lungs like literally freezing. It, it's, it's, <gasps> they call it the Windy City for a reason. Holy smokes. The, the cold there is totally different than Did you try the hot dog? I did. Did you try the deep dish? I must have. <laughs> Okay. I tried everything. The only other thing I literally tower, were there for like what, what, 48 hours. They changed the name of their building. So it, uh, the, the Freedom Tower in Manhattan, that's uh -huh. the tallest building in America now, but it used to be the Sears Tower in Chicago, but they changed the name. Do you know, do you know the I name? I don't. But look at that skyline, you guys. It's so uh, beautiful. We just really want, we love taking you around the world, around our country, uh, every hour at 9 and 10, every weekend at 9 and 10 uh, in those two hours. We like to go around the world. We do. All right, it is 10.01 right now. We're going to turn to our top story. Thousands of people are expected to take part in the March for Our Lives today in downtown L.A. and all over the nation. Participants are calling for an end to gun violence following a wave of mass shootings. Let's go to Aaron Myers, who's live in downtown L.A. And Aaron, it looks like some folks are already gathering just behind you. Good morning, you two. They are getting everything set up here right now, even though this is starting in just under two hours. You can see them getting situated. They are expecting at least a couple thousand people to participate in today's march just here in L.A. alone. And there are marches going on all across the country. I want to bring in Mariana Pecora. She's a spokesperson for March for Our Lives and with Voters of Tomorrow to talk to us more about this. Now, right now, there's a huge rally going on in D.C. Fill us in on what people are doing today. Well, today people are out here fighting against gun violence, specifically in schools after the Uvalde shooting and also the Buffalo shooting. Students are really fed up and of having our lives taken for granted and our elected officials doing nothing about it. And now right now we're showing D.C. pics right there. This is the national moment uh, movement going on there. Talk to us how this all got started. Well, in 2018, after the Parkland shooting, a group of student survivors put together March for Our Lives and they decided that they've had enough. They had seen their friends, their peers, their siblings die in a tragic shooting and they wanted to do something about it. And so we're here today, four years later, on that legacy and continuing that after the Uvalde shooting. And what kind of changes have you seen happen since this started? Legislatively, not much, but socially there's definitely been a movement for gun violence. But today we're here advocating for raising the gun um, possession age to 21 for a national ban on assault weapons and to really just get serious gun control legislation passed through the House and Senate. 
Now, I know some of the individuals with March for Our Lives, they were actually in D.C. recently um, before this march happened, before this rally. Uh, do we know how that went when they were there? I haven't heard from them yet, but um, we haven't had any gun legislation passed yet, so obviously we've got to keep fighting. And then what is the plan for today, as you said, about a couple thousand people heading out today? We're going to be having some great speakers here today. Um, Cameron Kasky, one of the founders of March for Our Lives, is going to be here today speaking. We have Hassan Piker, um, the Twitch streamer and political activist, coming today. Santiago Mayer, executive director of Voters of Tomorrow, coming to speak, as well as some other gun violence prevention advocates. Um, so we're going to be having speakers out on the stage that's getting set up, and then we're going to be marching around Los Angeles. And then what message would you like to send to young people about getting involved? Because this was started with high school students. This is absolutely a youth movement. This is students getting out and leading the fight for gun violence prevention. And we are here today because of a group of students. Um, Anna Pham, one of the organizers, is 15 years old. I'm 18 years old. Um, this is something that happened because of students. You can get out here. You can do it. It's up to you. Come on out and join us. Well, thank you for talking to us and good luck today. And if you do want to come and attend the rally, it starts at noon. It will go till three. They will be marching. They'll be rallying. And it's here at City Hall. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Well, like Aaron said, people are also gathering in our nation's capital for the March for Our Lives event on the National Mall. Uh, right now speaking is David Hogg. If you don't know who David is, he's one of the survivors of the 2018 Parkland school shooting. It happened in South Florida. Uh, also, Manny Oliver, who lost his child at Parkland. Do, do we want to listen in really quickly to hear what David's saying? Great. Stop this. How much longer are we going to debate this? And so we realize that we have a, we obviously have different opinions, but let's not let that stop us from doing the small thing, e anything, even if it could stop the next just one Parkland from happening, because.